Mosai Productions presents Most Plainin. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Sorry for the lull in making all these videos and stuff. I got kind of in a creative funk, and uh, I just didn't. Sometimes I just don't pump out a whole lot of stuff. I was doing three videos a day for several weeks, and then all of a sudden, I quit for three weeks. Uh, there's no real reason why I did. It should, well, uh, other than the creative funk. That I get, so you know how it is. Sometimes you're just all like, go, 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 and you make something really cool, and then you just get freaking burnt out suddenly on it. That happens to me sometimes. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm gonna, um, I, I've got my mojo back, and uh, we're gonna go make some more videos. We're gonna make some well, at least two to three a day, and uh, yeah, we'll have content. And after every video, except today. After every video, I'm going to try and make a video where I get all of you guys to go to my Twitch streams. And you can watch me and just chill. We can watch me play old school video games and uh, other shit. Because that's what I love to do on Twitch. I love streaming on Twitch. I love playing my old shit and, uh, and all that stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and get to this story. Because this kind of freaked me out a little bit. This is, this is a, a, a breaking news story that just came out a little bit after the... The former higher up at Nintendo, Reggie, uh, stepped down with the company. The uh, GameStop managed to uh, managed to get him, and they managed to put him into their freaking little hierarchy to see if they can, he can improve the company. Well, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen because this story just came down the wire. And uh, let's go ahead and just read it, and let's see what we think, and let's see what the future bodes, or w what the future holds for GameStop. GameStop to permanently close over 300 stores by Terry Fisher, by, by Tyler Fisher. GameStop has announced that it will be closing over 300 stores this year as a part of its ongoing effort to, quote-unquote, de-densify. That means just like cutting freaking uh, em employees because they make too much and they start working there too long because they got busted a little bit before this little uh, little mandatory vacation that we've all been put on. Uh, they got busted firing managers who were starting to make too much with the company. And this is just a, a number uh, this is just another reason on a whole host of reasons to never shop at GameStop or give them any kind of business whatsoever because quite frankly, I don't think GameStop is even worth your time, your money, your energy. It's, it's not even fun to go in there anymore. They're, they're swag as shit. They're, it's all overpriced. Like, you can go on eBay and find half their shit cheaper. And you can go to other game stores, assuming that there are other game stores in your town other than GameStop. You know, back in the day, back in my day, uh, there used to be a ton of game freaking shops, right? We used to have Game Crazy. We used to have EB Games. We used to have all these other game shops. And GameStop and its parent company start gobbling them all up like freaking Pac-Man. And uh, now we're left with almost exclusively, almost entirely GameStop. So now this is why that you let competition thrive and you don't allow companies to buy up the rest of the competition or else you end up with GameStop or the WWE. So anyway, back to it. The news comes way of GameStop's newest earnings call, which also features a comment from the retailer about a possible PS5 and Xbox Series X delay. And, well, gee, I wonder why. Mandatory vacation? Hmm. According to GameStop, it, is closed, it closed 321 stores last fiscal year, bringing its store count to over 5,500 locations. That said, according to the company's CEO, George Sherman, there are plans to meet or possibly exceed this number during this financial year, during this fiscal year, excuse me, which means there will soon be many GameStop employees out of a job. At the moment of publishing, it's unclear what stores will be shut down and when these shutdowns will happen. That said, the latter will presumably occur gradually throughout the fiscal year. Well, you know, I guess this is what you get when you piss off everyone and then during this vacation of ours. Uh, they deemed all of their employees, quote-unquote, essential employees, and they deemed their, uh, their, uh, their shops essential services. Anything, if anything's essential, it would be a freaking Taco Bell. 
before a freaking GameStop shop, let me tell you. Shut up, phone. Elsewhere during the earnings call, the retailer revealed that despite the coronavirus of disrupting commerce across the world and forcing all GameStop stores in the United States to close, there was actually a 2% increase in store sales in March when compared to March 2019. Well, yeah, because everyone's about to hunker down, so they're getting their video games and stuff. So that makes sense. That is like This is likely due to the fact that both Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing New Horizons dropped this month. There's that too. By the way, uh, Doom Eternal and, uh, and Animal Crossing New Horizons have done phenomenally well. Right when you think ID Software is about to go into the freaking crapper, they pull out a really good freaking uh, game. Then again, I don't think they were ever really threatening to go into the crapper. That's, that's more uh, Bethesda, which is making a few bucks off of freaking Doom Eternal because of the uh, Fallout 76 fiasco. And I think all the other games are going to be a freaking big heaping pile uh, coming out. But anyway, that's, that's, that's just speculation. That said, while GameStop ended its f fiscal year on a somewhat decent note, the year as a whole was a rough one for the retailer. For the final fiscal quarter, GameStop posted a net income of $21 million. However, for the full fiscal year, revenue was down 22% to $6.47 billion, which translated into a net loss of $470.9 million. Leading to, this, leading to this was a considerable decline in both software and hardware sales. Meanwhile, lessening this decline was a rise of 4% in collectibles. Which is nice, you know, because I, I have my collectibles and stuff. You know, I got my little Han Solo Star Wars Funko Pop uh, toy, you know. And I got a Harley Quinn right here. Let me go ahead and show you. Yes, I am a man child. No, I don't care. Boom. There you go. Just a little, like, I have a few knickknacks here and there just to decorate my desk. And a lot of that came from loot box stuff that my buddies uh, gave to me just because they didn't, they ran out of places to put all their stuff. So they just showed up like, Mo, hey, we're going to give you all this stuff. And I just got a buttload of really cool knickknacks and collectibles and stuff to throw up on my wall. It was really neat. Anyway. Looking ahead, GameStop notes it's currently difficult to provide financial guidance to its investors for this fiscal year, given the coronavirus. However, the retailer does note it expects a, cha it expects a challenge the first three quarters, but hopes it will be made up for in the final quarter, courtesy, courtesy of the PS5 and Xbox Series X. I'm going to go ahead and speculate right here. Um, probably not. Everyone's really, really pissed off at freaking GameStop for the crap that they pulled at the very beginning of the coronavirus p uh, panic and uh, everyone's really really angry and really pissed off about their their freaking people and their employees uh, had to revolt openly loudly and publicly because GameStop the freaking uh, the, the, the company the, the soulless heartless freaking corporation uh, part of it said no pob get back to work you're an essential uh, you're an essential freaking customer this is an essential service i mean how how far does your head need to go up your ass uh to to realize that maybe you know maybe you're not worth that much and maybe your game stop maybe your game store is shitty in comparison to how it used to be but maybe one day we'll actually get the game stop that we deserve Instead of the GameStop that we have. Because quite frankly, I don't think that it's really looking that good for them this year. It seems to me that they've lo really lost their way as far as how to run the company correctly. Uh, back in the day, they used to know what they were doing. They used to also sell DVDs and Blu-rays and movies and stuff. Uh, going to a GameStop was a multifaceted experience. You know, you didn't just go there for games. You can go there for many other things. And then slowly but surely, they just started fading out all the really cool stuff. They stopped uh, stocking uh, retro old school games. Like I used to be able to go to uh, to a GameStop, pick up a bunch of Super Nintendo and Genesis games for like six, seven bucks a pop before all the scumbag freaking collectors started really artificially inflating the market and saying that, you know, uh, 
this game right here is worth 500 bucks and really no Super Nintendo games worth that. Not even the really, really rare one, Earthbound. Earthbound really isn't that good of a game anyway. It's just that a game, you know, and this is why Earthbound's rare. Because no one really fucking played it when they were kids. No one played it back in my day. You know, no one gave a damn about it. No one's ever talked about Earthbound when I was a kid. And I was really, you know, as a kid back in the 90s, you were you were freaking hardwired into the, the, the underground or the mainstream or whatever have you. And you knew what games your friends were playing. You knew what games p other people were playing. And you knew it because you read all the magazines, you read all the articles. Back in the dawn of the internet, when it was first starting to get popular, you'd go to little game sites. And none of them were talking about Earthbound. I think you might have gotten a, a couple of blurbs here and there. But other than that, Earthbound fell to the wayside. Most of its stuff lost to time or destroyed or thrown away. Uh, some people kept a couple of copies of it, and that was it. But, but really, Earthbound just wasn't worth a damn. I mean, it's an okay game. But it's, I think it's just mostly nostalgia glasses. And you used to be able to get a games like that over at GameStop until they stopped doing all that, which is a real shame. I think that was when, I think that's when you started to see the fall. And you knew that GameStop eventually was going to be, uh, was going to freaking nosedive into the ground. And it is, it, it's damn sad to see because, you know, I have a lot of really great fond memories of going to GameStop or going to Game Crazies or going to EB Games. You know, I, I, I don't mind GameStop well, being like the main game in town, but this really sucks when it's the only game in town. And it really sucks for people who are in like small to medium sized sort of cities and towns and stuff because they really don't get to have any kind of a, a variety. When it comes to going to a game shop, you know, it's usually either GameStop or nothing. And when there is a, a new cool game shop, a GameStop will open like down the road from them, lower their prices and do like Walmart does to small town businesses everywhere and just slash the shit out of their tires and they'll freaking skid into the damn ditch of uh, irrelevancy, you know, and that really sucks. But anyway. I'm going to be streaming a lot more on twitch.tv slash modiggity. I want you all to go there and go ahead and give it a follow. Uh, I got a Patreon up. It's, it's uh, patreon.com forward slash Productions. All the links and stuff and all the relevant information will be down below in the description. So I want you guys to go ahead and go check that out. And as always, like, share, and subscribe and all that stuff, okay? Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Talk up.